I'm an economist by training, and on my flight to Zurich, I was thinking about, well, I've got five minutes. What is the one key insight that I can leave you with from the past three years of working in the blockchain space, both as an academic as well as an entrepreneur, that you could take away and combine it with your knowledge and your influence and your network to achieve the world, the new world economic order, as I call it, um, and I think if you look at businesses, if you look at the narrative around emerging tech, a lot of it comes down to one word, and that is disruption. But here's the one word we don't talk about often. Here's the one thing that actually changes the world that we don't focus on, and that is the adoption of the technology. So if you are in the business of emerging tech, what you really should be paying attention to is whether the technology is getting adopted or not. So 2018 saw the crash of the crypto space, the cryptocurrencies, boom, and you know probably the end of ICOs. And there have been talks about, well, is this a bubble that got bursted? Is it a market correction mechanism? So along with my colleague, Lawrence, we wrote a Forbes piece on why cryptocurrency prices are plummeting. And we identified that it's indeed the fact that the adoption that was anticipated for technologies like blockchain and AI hasn't actually occurred at, at the moment. And that really leads me to take a step back and think about value. You see, value or the creation of value is core to businesses. Now the interesting part is the value drivers in current day are going to look very different from the value drivers in the future. So what am I talking about? Well essentially the very nature of value is changing. All value at the end of the day is in fact perception. I wrote a paper on how value is created in tokenized assets last year, and drawing insights from cognitive psychology and behavioral economics, we concluded that if you can create the perception of value, you can actually use your customers and your clients to help you build value, right? And the dominant business model currently and in the future is going to be the co-creation of value, both by businesses as well as their customers. So when it comes to adoption, if you're a business, you want to think about how you can co-create value, how you can incentivize people to participate in your business, and how you can leverage network effects to achieve adoption. And indeed, mass adoption is in fact the entry point to the new world economic order. After all, globalization is unlike a biological system, right? It is an artificial system. Globalization is led by its pace and its direction by specific people signing specific treaties in conferences like this. So we have an opportunity to in fact affect this change and work towards this new world economic order where abundance, as we heard previously from the other speakers, is, is the key rather than economic scarcity which, by the way, all economics is based on. And so let's take this opportunity to build a sustainable, transparent, and shared system. Thank you very much.